Bolevar here. The port city of Budva, Montenegro. Budva, Montenegro. A special police unit has arrested two criminals. Chief investigator Damien Kasalica learns that the prisoners turned violent and resisted arrest. Excuse me. You got a problem? You've got the problem. I don't have any problem. Be quiet. You'll regret that you arrested us. We got lucky. We've been looking for these two for some time. They're known members of a criminal gang. We only caught them because they were in a traffic accident. They're taken to the police station for interrogation. But the very next day, they're back on the street. The gangs of the Western Balkans are extensively networked and active throughout Europe. These images were taken by surveillance cameras in France and Monaco. The gangsters came from Serbia and Montenegro. In this training exercise, officers are in hot pursuit across Bosnia's border with Montenegro. The European Union is calling for cross-border police cooperation to help break up these crime syndicate networks. Suspects will no longer be able to escape into neighboring countries and then vanish. The exercise is coordinated by Thomas Pepper of Austria. He's traveled a great deal in the Balkans and knows the region well. It's cross-border crime, where organized gangs make use of well-established structures that have existed for a long time. It's every type of organized crime, ranging from drug smuggling to gun running and controlled substances. The entire gamut. Since the early 1990s, tiny Montenegro has been governed by the same political elite with former Prime Minister Milo Djukanovic at its head. Under his administration, corruption spread even more. Opponents have accused the party of ties to international cigarette and drug smuggling rings. Now, even tourism and small businesses on the Adriatic coast are said to be divided up among as many as 35 organized gangs. In a propaganda video, the Interior Ministry is already taking credit for a victory against organized crime. But the reality on the streets of Montenegro looks very different. The special police unit in Budva is kept busy. Mingling with the tourists are local criminals and ever more gang members from Serbia, Bosnia-Herzegovina, Kosovo and Albania. It's very noticeable that so many young people in their 20s are driving around here in very expensive luxury cars, although they've never had a job. We quite often find guns and drugs in these cars. Damien Kasalica's unit has caught yet another gang member, even if he's just a small-time hood. Did you know there's a warrant out for your arrest? No, I didn't know that. What for? Blackmail. Blackmail? Blackmail and assault. Your luck just ran out. This time, the police got lucky, at least for now. The kingpins never seem to run out of luck. They hardly ever get arrested. The special unit often feels they're tilting at windmills.